Mapbox GLJS is a great open source mapping API, and it may be your preferred option. So I want to show you how easy it is to use ArcGIS platform services through this library. This app displays the locations and the varying conditions of trees in the Portland area. For instance, the greens represent that the trees are in relatively good condition as compared to these yellows or this red. However, this app could be improved. First, the base map style isn't really what I'm going for. Second, the features that you currently see on the map don't tell the whole story. There are over 200,000 features in this feature layer, but due to the scalability of GeoJSON, they're not being able to fully render efficiently on the client. So let's go to the source code to improve this application. I'm going to replace my existing Mapbox API key with my ArcGIS API key. Next, I'm going to specify one of the 25 base map enumerations available to me from the ArcGIS platform. Let's try streets first. Finally, I'll update the style URL to access the ArcGIS base map layer service. However, I do need to make two key adjustments. First, let me make sure that the base map enumeration that I've set, as well as the API key that I've set, are going to be appended to that URL. When I run my application, that street space map is now loaded onto the map. This is good, but let's try another one. Let's try ArcGIS light gray. It's better, the colors definitely pop. Let's try one more. Let's try ArcGIS dark gray. The colors are really vibrant, but this still isn't the theme I'm going for. I want a base map that maybe has green in it. So I need to create my own base map style. To do that, I'll go to my developer dashboard that's in the developer website. Clicking layers, create data, and then new vector base map style will direct me to the vector tile style editor. I'll choose light gray canvas as a starting point. Once I'm at the editor, I can either randomize the colors, change the colors layer by layer, update the fonts, and other aspects of this base map. When I'm happy with those changes, I'll save it and then access that layer information in my developer dashboard. By using the item ID and replacing the current enumeration with it, I'll be able to load that new style onto my map. Now that I have the base map exactly as I want it, let's move on to the data. This data set contains over 200,000 features and the scalability of GeoJSON is an issue. To solve this issue, I want to use a vector tile set. So I'm going to delete all this code that references GeoJSON, including right here. And instead, I'm going to scaffold out the code needed to access a vector tile layer. The question is, where does that URL come from? Well, when I import data in supported formats such as CSV, GeoJSON, or Shapefile to the ArcGIS platform, I create a hosted service. For instance, I imported my Shapefile of trees to the platform and created a hosted feature service. I was then able to style the layer using the Map Viewer tool. However, for the feature service to be consumed efficiently from the GLJS client, I need to use a vector tile layer. Luckily, with the new capability of the feature service, I can do just that. I can publish my current feature layer as a new vector tile layer, and any of those stylings that I have in that current feature layer will be in that vector tile layer as well. I just need to choose the fields I want to publish, so the condition and maybe the common name of the tree, so that would be maple or oak, and click publish. Once that vector tile layer is generated, and it didn't take me too long, probably a few minutes, I'll be directed to the new item page. From the item page, this is where I can get the tile URL, which I will incorporate in my application. And then I can also choose any of the stylings that are currently in that vector tile layer and use that in my application as well. So let me specify some layer stylings. And then once I add those layers to the map, my data will be rendered so much faster. This is an improvement, but let's complete this application by using 
those attributes that I chose to publish with my vector tile layer. I'm going to create a pop-up that will display the names of some of the trees on my map. So now when I run my application, I can zoom in and see some of these tree names like pear, let's see, hawthorn, and maple. Using the tools and services provided to me from the ArcGIS platform, I was able to update this existing application and create a better user experience.